Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to solve an equation with radicals in it. So let's do an equation such as where the variable is the radical. So we'll do radical of x, and we'll say that it's equal to 10. So how do you solve that? Well, the first step is to realize that the radical of x is the square root. So right away, you can just say that x is equal to 100. But if you don't understand that, then we're going to say that x, the radical of x is the same, the same as saying that it's x to the 1 half power. It's equal to 10. And what you have to do is make sure that your variable, your variable is x, doesn't have any powers, or it should be to the power of 1. So when x is to the 1 half power, what you can do is take both sides of the equation and you square it. When you square it, then the x variable is going to turn into just x, not the radical of x. And when you square 10, it's 100. So we solved that one. Let's do another equation where you have radicals on both sides of the equation. So let's say that we have the square root of y is equal to 5 to the 1 third power. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we're taking the square root of y, or it's y to the 1 half power, and it's equal to 5 to the 1 third power or it's the same as saying the cubic root of 5. So let's write it down in a way that's more comprehensive. We're going to say that it's y to the 1 half power is equal to 5 to the 1 third power. In order to solve this equation, all you have to do is once again take the square both sides of the equation and you get y is equal to 5 to the power of 2 thirds. So you can leave the answer like that, or you can realize that it's the same as saying that 5 is squared, and we're taking the cubic root of 5. So there you have it. That's how you solve an equation with radicals in it. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.